Hi boys and girls, today's art class is all about complementary colors and we are going to do a quick project to reinforce that content. So all you want to do is grab a white piece of paper and we are going to make three sections. One, two, three. And essentially all you're going to do is kind of roll your paper together like that. So all I do is I take my left I bring it over and I take my right and I bring it over as well. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then once you have created your roll, just press it down and make the fold, make the crease. The trick is you want your edges to meet. So your top edge and your bottom edge, you want those to meet. And then when you open it up, you have three sections. Now you will need a pencil I am going to show you how to do it with a black marker, but again, you should be using a pencil in case you make any mistakes. Okay, and now we are going to make an interesting line that goes from one side all the way to the other. So you want to make some nice curves, make it interesting, create some like variation, and you go from your left all the way to your right. And then after you create your curve, you are going to just continue making more lines to mirror that. And now I'm going to fill in my top section, doing the same exact thing. And that's it. Once you are done, you can grab your colors. So remember, we are only doing complementary colors and there are three sets of complementary colors. There is yellow and purple, red and green, and last but not least, blue and orange. Those are the complementary colors. So it's up to you which one you do first. I am going to use yellow and purple for my first section, orange and blue for my second section, and then for my last section, I'm going to use red and green. And you can use markers, you can use color pencils, crayons, whatever you have. And one thing that can help avoid confusion is just to flip your paper over, bend it back, and then bend your other section inside. That way you're only working with this one section. And if your markers are drying out like mine, you can either add another layer or grab a crown to go on top. And that will help the color become more vibrant. Okay, next I'm going to go in with my yellow. I just wanna unfold it so that I don't accidentally color onto a different section. And my yellow <laughs> color has broken, so uh, if your crayon has broken like mine, you can always use the side. And it's also quicker that way. Yeah, my dog got into my crayons. So he went through a period of time where he was eating some of my crayons when I wasn't looking. So that's what happened with my yellow. He broke it. Okay, so next I'm going to use my blue and my orange. So I'm actually just going to outline, this time using a blue marker 
but then I'm going to color it in using just crayons. One thing you can do to make your color pop even more is to grab a lighter color and just layer it right on top. That will make the color appear smoother and more vibrant. I'm actually going to unfold this. And last but not least, I am going to use red and green for this last section. So I'm going to use a marker to outline all of my lines using green. And it helps to kind of tilt my paper a little bit. This is um, a yellow green, but I don't have my other green. Like I said, my dog got into my crayons and he ate my dark green. comes to coloring along the edge, I like to just go in one direction. It just makes it a little bit easier. And that is it. Once you are done with your project, you can flip it over and write complimentary colors if you'd like. That helps you remember. And you are all done with your project.